the first thing that came to mind was, wow, finally, an acknowledgement. Finally, the 50% of the world's population that has been often left out of peace and security processes. This award is a loud call that no more can we negotiate peace and leave this 50% of the world's population out. The little that I know about trying to change a situation around, you can't do it without a recognition that there is a higher power that is accompanying you on that journey. That's, that's the first part for me. And the second part, once you have recognized that there is a higher power and that because the journey to transforming any society is a very spiritual journey, regardless of how you see it, no one can tell you I've transformed my society by my intellect. They will tell you that at some point in time I had to sit still and listen. Some people will say to my inner self, I will say to a higher power and to God for, for, for that matter. So faith is very important for me. Where I've come from, where I see myself today, would not have been possible if I didn't have the kind of faith that I have. Faith gave me comfort. That was the first thing my faith gave me. Um, I was angry when I was, the war started. And in my anger, I stopped praying. But my sister, who's much older now, used to sing a song because she went to a Catholic school. And the song was, My Lord, He Died for His Kingdom to Redeem the Hearts of Men. So my people, don't you weep. The Lord is raising from His sleep. He lives again. Hallelujah. Every time I heard that song, my people, don't you weep. It was like she was ministering to that pain in my heart. And some days I would tell her, shut up. But that was one song till today. I can sing it when I'm down because it speaks to me. So it's, it's, it's a critical part of my work. It's a critical part of my life. Because if you've lived in destitution and you've lived in pains and terror, you can't do get out without a clinging to some supernatural being. Women says, stop violence, stop violence, stop violence. If you have a situation that seems endless and it's a negative situation, don't wait for a Gandhi. Don't wait for a king. Don't wait for a Mandela. You are your own Mandela. You are your own Gandhi. You are your own king. You know your issues. You know your concerns. And you know the solution. Rise up and do something to change your situation around.